gradual shift in position is likely influenced and encouraged by the fact that there are an increasing, increasing number of Muslims who are coming out of the closet, and that while insistence on heterosexual relationships may have once served an important social function, it may now be time to embrace stable same-sex relationships as well. Okay, discussion questions. Again, I apologize that I kind of blitzed through this, like, you know, a five-second yowie clip. Um, <coughs> Now that we have briefly touched upon the main three religions of North America, have you noticed any bless you Sorry. any similar any blah, similarities between them, or significant differences for that matter? Um, did we discuss anything that surprised you that you weren't expecting to hear? And was there anything that you agreed or disagreed with, and why? This is where I need actually some feedback. It's so you're not just sitting there like drones. You in the back. Yes, you raise your hand. I was actually really surprised about the earthquake. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I do that every night. <laughs> you With the poetry from the Judaism side, that actually got surprised me. I was surprised about the, the whole entire thing about uh, the relationships and like Jewish, etc. Because you never hear about it in any yeah, of your classes ever. Like it's always like no, 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 bad, bad, bad. Exactly. Honestly, what I think like the reason why it's all so frowned upon. That is true. That is true. Um, because, uh, I mean, but if you look at, I mean, because the, the Old Testament, that was the former covenant between God and Abraham. You know, the whole business of Jesus and the dying and the resurrection, sacrificial lamb. Therefore, the aspects of the new, new old, old Testament were null and void. That's why we why we, you know, no longer stone people to death if they cheat on their husbands. It's just the, you know, $50,000 divorce fee instead. Um, <coughs> Even divorce was frowned upon. Oh, yeah. Death. Oh, yeah. Exactly. I mean, and whether you can say progression is for good or bad, generally speaking, I'd say that the lesser killing of people is probably oh, yeah. a good thing. People, people dying. Is, is, as far as I've heard, I think still in Mormon culture, the first one that you marry is still considered your forever. That's and even if you get a divorce and remarry, they don't actually recognize that as when you have it. That's that's also true, I believe, in the Catholic faith. Um, unless if you are married within the Catholic Church, they will not recognize a divorce except under very stringent circumstances. An annulment from the Vatican. I mean, it's it's a it's a very strict. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's not like oh, I want a divorce and you get it. Like, in the Catholic faith, how it is is you have to go through another like ceremony that is I forget what it's called. Yeah, an annulment. You have to go through that, but it's still frowned upon. And it's oh like, yeah. What is your reasoning? If it's like oh, I cheated on this, like it doesn't count. No, like um. The only time it's allowed is if you can't bear offspring. Which there's a, there's, that makes sense. There's a couple others, like, uh, I think King Henry VIII, he divorced his wife because it wasn't technically correct. You can, like, twist it around. Well, of course. Yeah. It's religion! Well, he switched his religion. I heard, like, yeah. like, to divorce, it was just like, you're not giving me offspring off of her head. Exactly. Karen, I love you. Okay, yeah. moving on. Okay, Buddhism. <laughs> Um, sexual relations of all forms were discouraged equally as they were thought to distract seekers from seeking the way of enlightenment. Although monks themselves were known to engage in same-sex partnerships to comfort one another in the least detrimental way that they knew how. They bore no ill will towards lay people who were homosexual and often viewed same-sex relationships as loving and peaceful. Obviously they never met us. You throw me into bookshelves, asshole. You like it. No, I don't! All right. <laughs> All right. Buddhism is a prolific source of much homoerotic poetry as well, and prose written in loving detail. Um, because I like poetry, so I included it. I'm sorry if you don't like it. Um, for example, with happy face, I hasten to greet you at the shuttered window. Since last we since last we parted, it's been colder at my heart than steel. I constantly long for a guest from the southeast. <coughs> I think to myself, but you, dear friends, do not do not come. And the bright moon shines vain in an empty sky. You know, I, that's that's a lot better than whatever you write for yourself there. <laughs> Just saying. Ouch. Ouch. Looks like you're going to 
I've expanded my vocabulary. Damn, Cap. <clears throat> I, I honestly. Not Cap, but Harry. Yes, the attack. Harry Cap. That's a very bad crossover. <laughs> <Turn on. laughs> I mean, I honestly think that's quite pretty in, in and of itself, but the description of the Southeast reveals for whom the poet is longing. As in, um, the South or the South Wind is a Chinese allegory for homosexual love. <clears throat> Which probably doesn't make a lot of sense, however, that stems from the fact that they believed that those homosexual influences stem from the South, from, I just forgot the influence, but whatever is South of China! Yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't remember, but that is the allegory. It is valid. Okay, um, letter from a Buddhist priest. My love became so violent that it seemed to me that my soul was breaking into a thousand pieces. I am a priest, but alas, I have also the passions of a man, and I confess that I love you with all of my being. You are the most splendid flower of the western province, the most precious jewel in the universe. I cannot forget you even in my sleep, and when I, am, when I awake I am excruciated. I have prayed to the god Fuyusaki to have, pit to have pity on my unhappy love. I wish to drown myself in the river Kikuchi. Kikuchi, yeah. yeah. To put an end to my to put an end to my pain. I am ready to sacrifice my life for one evening's love with you. I am cursed by a cruel karma. Pleasantly enough, that one actually did have a happy ending. The recipient was like, "All right, why not?" So, yay! They, they frolicked off into the sunset with rainbows and unicorns. Yeah. <laughs> I do too. Doesn't like you. Alright, thank you. Buddhism, while emphasizing correct <laughs> ethical <laughs> behavior, <laughs> also imparts the notion that one must develop their own way of perceiving and experiencing the sacredness of life. Buddhism manifests itself in both religious and purely philosophical forms. Some Buddhist sects, like Zen Buddhism, clearly emphasize the philosophical, while others, like those in in which the Bodhisattva Kuan Yin is revered, emphasizes spiritual, even the magical at times. <clears throat> the Jataka tales of early Indian Buddhism convey a rather positive attitude towards same-sex intimacy and celebration of the, of the Buddha's loving relationship with his disciple, Ananda. <laughs> yeah, again, if I'm screwing up these pronunciations, I apologize, but I'm doing the best I can. Sometime between the 16th and 19th century, a Buddhist nun founded the Ten Sister Society, oh my god, lesbians, <laughs> which embraced resistance to heterosexual marriage, passionate, passionate friendship and lesbian intimacy, and held ceremonies of same-sex unions. <clears throat> this society became the prototype for other societies, including the Gordon, Olk Gordon Golden Orchid, it's been a very long day, association. <laughs> It appears that Chinese Buddhism showed an even greater tolerance toward persons engaging in same-sex and transgender behavior than, than that of Indian Buddhism. Holy guacamole. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I forgot how much I put in here. All right. There is a lot of stuff, because we're only on Buddhism, and we've got... Yeah. All right. I am so proud of you. You actually did your research. Of course I did my research. I I, I, ha I had the panel thrust upon me. I had to do something with it. You're welcome. According to the Kodansha Encyclopedia of Japan, the practice of homosexuality in Japan is, um, is, uh, I forgot why, it's it's traditionally said to date from the early part of the Heian, he 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 hey, and thank you, hey, I was period. getting there, Heian period when Buddhist monks introduced, introduced it upon the return from Tang, China. <clears throat> they are quick to clarify that while homosexuality surely existed in Japan prior, prior to this, they emphasized that the traditional account of its origins helped to explain why homosexuality became a preferred form of expression among the Buddhist priesthood. It's a good arrow, samurai. And yeah, the mighty arrows. All I can think of is samurai shampoo. <laughs> By the end of the Heian period, they reported homosexuality had become popular among the Kyoto aristocracy. Perhaps because of the increased contract, contact with the Buddhist clergy. You don't really take it seriously as a man until you talk to another man. Wait, amen. Well, I'm fucked. <coughs> but it's... Oh, Cliff. Dive! The often open expression of affection and desire of Buddhist priests for those they loved grew stronger over the subsequent four centuries. Um, by the 
mid-16th century, Father Francis Xavier arrived in Japan with a... Huh? Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. Continue. Okay. Continue. <laughs> arrived with fan girl feelings. Okay. Arrived with the hope of converting its people to Christianity. He was shocked upon encountering so many Buddhist monks involved in homoerotic relationships, and he began referring to homoeroticism as the Japanese vice. Yes, it makes perfect sense. Um, unsurprisingly, Father Xavier decided that it was his duty to rid Japan of this vice. He wrote, We frequently tell the priests that they should not commit such shameful sins. Yet everything that we tell them amuses them, for they laugh aloud and... Uh, Thanks. Cut off. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> laugh about it and leave us. Have fun. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't okay, shrink it enough. Okay, everyone use your head cannon and fill that in. <laughs>
gender variant male prostitutes, the Canaanite goddess, who we mentioned earlier. Oh God, it relates back. OMG. <laughs> etc. have enacted lesbian, bisexual, homoerotic, and transgender.